All right, we just got a package in the mail. I've been waiting for this one, so let's check it out. All right, so this device has been out for quite a while, but this is the first time I'm getting my hands on it. I've been wanting to make a video on this for a little while now. This is the Stellar Trek from Humanware. Huge thank you to Humanware for sending this out for this review. Real quickly, let's see what comes in the box, then we'll talk about what the Trek can do, and we'll put it to the test. But before we do, my name is Sam. This is The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. On this channel, I do reviews of assistive technology for the visually impaired community, along with a bunch of other stuff. But if that kind of content sounds good to you, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, press like, do all of that stuff. I post new videos every single Saturday. All right, and here we have the Stellar Trek. This is the latest in a very long lineage of Trek devices. The Trek line of devices traditionally have been GPS devices, helping you navigate the world around you. But they have evolved into much more than that, offering a wide variety of helpful tools, things like crosswalk finder, OCR, barcode scanning, and even more coming very, very soon. Now let's check out what comes in the box. First of all, you will notice right away that Humanware is definitely going very Apple-like with their packaging. It feels like I'm opening up a new iPad Pro. In the box, you have the Stellar Trek itself. Under that, you have a container that probably has a bunch of paperwork and the manual. Then under that, we have a couple of goodies. You have a hard plastic holster for the Trek. This has a clip on the back that will let you clip it onto a belt. Uh, your clothing, a backpack, pretty much anything you want to. You have a USB type C charging cable along with a charging brick and a wide variety of universal plugs for the charging brick. This means you'll be able to charge the device in a wide variety of countries. Okay, taking a look at the device itself, it's about the size of a cell phone, albeit a very thick cell phone. If you're familiar with the Blind Shell Classic 2, it's roughly the same size as that, but just a little thicker. On the front, you have nine buttons, and they are essentially laid out in three sections. The top section, you have two horizontal buttons. They are the same size, and both are black. The bottom section, you have two more horizontal buttons. The one on the left is black, and it's a little bit larger than the one on the right, with the one on the right being orange. Then the middle section is essentially a four-way directional pad with an OK button in the middle. On the left side, you have two long vertical buttons, and on the right side, you have two round buttons one of which is the power button. The bottom you have the charging port, which once again is a USB type C, and you have a spot for a wrist strap, which also comes in the box. Then finally on the back, you have a camera assembly. All right, let's quickly go through what these buttons do. On the left side, I mentioned you have volume up and volume down. If you quickly press the two buttons together, speed. now we have speed, and that is your reading speed or your, your, the speed of your voice. Now if I press up, Speed one, speed two, speed one. Or back down. Speed zero. You can adjust how fast the voice is, how fast it reads out things to you. We talked about the four-way directional pad and the confirm or confirmation button in the middle. That's pretty obvious, pretty standard stuff. That's how you're gonna navigate through your menus. That's how you're gonna select things. These do also have, some of them also have long press options, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But let's go over the four buttons that surround the four-way directional pad. In the upper left, you have your explore button. This is also your back button. This gets you back to wherever you're starting from. If I press that button. Explore. Explore. D does just what it says. Lets you explore the world around you. The button to the right of that is the go to button. This is used a lot when doing your navigation. The bottom left button is the WAI button or the where am I button. If I press that button. Heading southeast. Near 500 across the lighting, next intersection in 427 feet, three ways. So we gave a lot of information of where about where I currently am. Obviously, I censored all that so you guys won't know where I live, but it did. It it got my current location. It also told me where the nearest intersection was. It also told me what type of intersection that is. It is indeed a three-way intersection. 
So that's all great information to have when you're trying to navigate. And then finally, the bottom right button, the orange button is your voice button. This is gonna be for your dictation. This is a new feature in the Stellar Trek. You can now enter information, enter text with your voice using dictation. So you need to find a certain street, you need to look up a certain address, you can do that with your voice. Moving over to the buttons on the right side, you have the power button at the top. Long pressing this will turn the device on or off. Quickly pressing this will put the device to sleep. This is also a new feature of the Stellar Trek. Then the button right below that on the side is your record button. This is how you record landmarks. Think of landmarks as just that important spots that you want to save. Obviously they could be important addresses like your home, your work, but they could also be very simple landmarks that just help you along your way. You know, the newsstand on the corner, that bus stop that you go to every day to catch the bus. You can record voice labels for the landmarks. So I could say, this is my house or this is the bus stop. One thing to note about that though, is you only have four seconds of record time, which is kind of a bummer. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail into the navigation. I mean, that has been done a ton. There's tons of videos online, people talking about using this GPS device for navigation. That is its primary function. So there's a lot of information about that. It does it really well. The Stellar line over the years have proven to work really well. I mean, as well as just your general GPS device does. But this new version of the Stellar Trek has some extra features, new applications, and that is really what I want to focus on in this video. To get into your apps, you want to do a long press of the up arrow. Applications. That Pedestrian gets, crossing detection. That gets us into our applications. The first one we have here is pedestrian crossing detection. And this is super cool. This will help you cross streets at a pedestrian crosswalk. Next. Address confirmation. Address confirmation. This feature is truly one that separates the Stellar Trek from all the other navigational aids we have out there, GPS apps and other tools. Because this address confirmation helps us with those last like 40 feet. Most all GPS devices will get us to our location, but they won't get us into the location, if you know what I mean. They won't help us find the front door. They won't help us confirm that we are truly where we are. Address confirmation will do that. Next. Quick reading. Quick reading. This is the Stellar Trek's version of OCR. And in fact, the next one. Detailed reading. Detailed reading. These are the two OCR applications. Quick reading is just that. It will quickly read whatever text that you want it to. Think of signs while you're out, uh, price tags. Then the detailed reading is just that. If you need to get into your mail and read that full document, that is what detailed reading is gonna be for. Color detection. Color detection. Barcode scanning. Barcode scanning. Compass. And Compass. Those are the applications we currently have on the Stellar Trek. I know that they are planning on adding a bunch more in the near future, but in the meantime, let's take a closer look at each of these. First, let's talk about pedestrian crossing detection. Like I said before, this will help you when crossing at an intersection by helping to detect the pedestrian crossing area. And it works very interestingly. It uses the camera to detect the lines on the street indicating where you're supposed to cross. If it sees the lines and it lines up, then the Stellar Trek will start to beep. If you go too far left, it tells you. If you've gone too far right, it tells you. So it helps to guide you and keep you on the path. Camera ready. I will say that one thing I noticed is it can be a little hard to hear if it's a very loud street with traffic. Next we have address confirmation and this works very similarly to the pedestrian crossing detection where it will help you find something. In this case, it's looking for a door. 
So the same thing, it indicates if you're pointing at a door, if you go too far left, too far right, it'll kind of guide you back towards the door. And you can then take a picture to confirm the address. The nice thing is it will also give you an approximate distance and direction to that door. Remain in position. Please wait. Two doors, two house numbers. Door with number 2265 found within 36 to 43 feet at 12 o'clock. All right, let's take a look at quick reading. I have um, some information here that came with the Stellar Trek. This is just a diagram showing all the buttons and everything. But let's try the quick reading. I have chosen it and now I just press the confirmation button. Camera ready. And it just took a picture and you hear it taking pictures. So it's constantly taking pictures until it sees text. Back, microphone, left, down, Y. If I want to take another picture Stella while Jack. it's reading, I just press the confirmation button again. The device will vibrate. Select a language. Once the device turned on, you will be prompted with a selection menu. Applications. And then I, reading. I can hit the back button to go back. So you see that it's actually very fast, very responsive, and very accurate. Now, if I wanted to take a picture of this entire document and read it, I would use the detailed reading. Detailed reading. Here we go. And once I hit the confirmation button, it will help to guide me in taking this picture. It will tell me if I need to go closer, move further away, that sort of thing. Camera ready. Stop moving, taking picture. Home volume up, volume down, back microphone, left down, Y getting started, speaker, stellar, track, power, record, go to upright, confirm voice to turn the device on, press and hold for approximately two seconds, the power button. There you go. So it took a picture and very quickly started reading out that information. <clears throat> now, as I said, this is a diagram and it has a picture of the stellar trek in the middle with arrows coming off and all of those words back down all of that so that's why it read it like that it was reading all of that information out but without the context of the picture it sounded a little strange one cool thing to note about the stellar trek is it's also using ai to process this image and separate the ocr into different sections so this is very unique we haven't seen this on too many other devices and it's, it's pretty cool now if i press to the right Browse text blocks. Press confirm to browse text using this category. It's broken this image up into text blocks, so I can press confirm. Home getting started. Now I'm going to press to the right or left. Power. Volume up. To turn the device on, press and hold for approximately two seconds the power button. The device will vibrate. Select a language. Once the device turned on, you will be... So the section down here at the bottom, it split that up into two sections instead of reading it all as one giant section of text. This is really cool and it could be super helpful for certain situations. Menus, for example. Next, let's check out the color identifier. Color detection. Color detection. I've got a box of cereal here that has a bunch of colors on the front. So we're gonna take a picture of this and it's going to let me know what colors it sees. Camera ready. Three colors found. Cream. Cream. And then if I click to the right. Brown orange. Brown orange. And maybe blue. 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 There we go. <laughs> So it did a pretty good job. Keep in mind that this is a digital color identifier and inherently they're all pretty terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. They're not terrible, but they definitely perform much better in nice bright lighting. Barcode scanning. Barcode scanning. Bring our cereal box back here. 
Now, barcode scanning, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can take a picture of the barcode and it should give you more information about the product. Camera ready. Barcode selection, one product found. Crispix cereal. Press confirm to have more details. All right, Crispix cereal, press confirm. Product details. Name, Crispix cereal. Brands, Kellogg S. And this is nice also. Once again, it blo it breaks it down into blocks of information so you're not just getting bombarded with all the information all at once. Record label. I have some extra options here with the barcode. I can record a label to be associated with this. Yummy cereal. Label recorded. Yummy cereal. <laughs> Camera ready. One cool thing to mention about the barcode scanner is that it won't take the picture until it sees a barcode. So if you're not sure where the barcode is, you can just keep spinning the box until it sees a barcode. And then barcode selection takes the Two picture. Products found. Yummy cereal. Compass. Finally, we have a compass, and this is a very basic, just to tell you which direction you're facing. For better results, compass calibration is highly recommended. Compass activated. Heading southeast. Okay, guys, let's wrap up this video about the Stellar Trek. So, like I said at the beginning, um, the main purpose of this device is GPS navigation, and it does it really well. It has a ton of features surrounding GPS navigation, not just the ability to enter in a location and then follow the directions to get you to that location, but a lot of extra super helpful things, like the ability to explore your current location, go into a map and search through or explore a location that you're not currently in, the ability to set those landmarks, and once again, doing all of this through voice commands, getting helpful details about intersections, what types of intersections, how far away the next intersection is, all of that. So like I said, it does it really well. Now, keep in mind, this is just a GPS device and they're not perfect. And in fact, I ran into a little problem while I was out testing the Stellar Trek. Heading southeast. You're on street with no name. Next intersection in 66 feet, three ways. Street with no name. Crossing. Street with no name. On your left. So just keep that in mind, you know, you're still going to have to use your navigational skills, your O&M skills, all of that. But like we talked about in this video and highlighted in this video, it does a lot of extra things now. It has all these extra applications and they are super helpful. They work pretty well. They do what they're supposed to. The crosswalk detection and the address confirmation, those are super cool. And as I said before, something, at least as far as the address confirmation, something we don't see in other GPS devices. Being able to navigate to a location, but then use your camera to identify where the door is, how far away the door is, confirm the address just to make sure you're at the right place. All very helpful. And I know from talking to Humanware, they are planning on adding more applications in the future. So if you're thinking about getting the Stellar Trek, definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, but that is it for this one. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. Check out all my other stuff. Links down in the video description. That is it. Thanks, guys. Sam with a Blind Life. I will see you next week.